Hey guys, Clee here. So two videos ago, we talked about things you should do in preparation for 8.3. There are a few more things that you can do in preparation for the patch. I'm not saying whether or not you should do them or not. And if you're working at Blizzard, don't watch the video. First things first, one thing I want to clear up is I think in the other video, we talked about how the Paragon caches, I totally forgot that Blizzard actually nerfed this to where you get the AP from turning in the quest. So you don't need to actually have the like actual caches in your inventory. You just need 19,999 out of 10,000 rep. That's it. You're going to get two turn ins and you're good to go, right? So you don't need that third chest because the chest already would have turned in for AP and that would have been useless, right? Now, the other thing we also mentioned is we talked about how islands, you can basically have this island map in your inventory, right? And then, you know, when the patch comes out, you can basically have two maps, right? But a third thing you can do is you can also have a map in the actual mission table right now you can't just have it set there you need to actually like complete it right because if you just use the treasure map you're gonna get a mission that lasts like i think like three or four days right and then after that it'll disappear uh, but this is good because what this means is that you can basically quote unquote like farm i guess for the treasure maps now you can only get one map per week but essentially you're gonna keep doing it every week until you get this mission that's gonna give you titan residuum and then what you're gonna do is you're not gonna touch this. You're not gonna complete the quest until 8.3 comes out. Basically, from now until 8.3, I'm never gonna touch my mission table, and this mission is just gonna sit there the entire time, right? Because as long as you don't actually like complete the mission, it's just gonna chill there forever. For example, what happens if, let's say, you use the map, you don't get a residuum, that means next week you do the island again, use it, if you don't get it, keep doing it. Now, the week that you do get the residuum, right? Put the followers in, make sure you have over 100% completion rate. That way you're guaranteed to get it. Put that in and then, you know, the week afterwards, get a map ready, put it in your bag, and then you are good to go. Next thing in regards to residuum. So I'm sure a lot of you guys now have a lot of, uh, you know, extra residuum just kind of sitting about. Right now I have 246,000 residuum. So what the plan is, is right before 8.3 comes out, I'm going to come to this guy and I'm going to buy a bunch of the random 445. So these ones, right? The 47,000 ones, not the 200,000 ones, because I don't need a specific, right? I don't care what piece it actually becomes, right? You just want to buy this. And the plan is you just keep it in inventory. When 8.3 comes out, you're not going to try to refund it. There is a chance that it can give you residuum. If it does, great. And if it doesn't, you can always just craft it into the actual Azerite, either scrap it or disenchant it, and hopefully that can give you residuum too. But though that's not very guaranteed that it's gonna work. Obviously, if Blizzard is aware, they should make it not work because it is a bit shitty, but it doesn't really hurt to try. So if you have residuum left over, you should do it because in the off chance that it does work, it's gonna give you a lot of residuum. Now the last thing, you can basically have done the entire expansion, right? So with 8.3, one thing that's gonna come out is you know, the increased level to your neck and go from 70 to, I don't know if they're going to keep going with their like 85, whatever it is, unlimited, whatever they end up with, right? Whatever number they end up with, it's going to be very important for you to get your heart of Azeroth as high as you can, because you want to reach that third minor essence, right? That's going to appear over here when the patch comes out. Now for that, you're going to have to do a few islands, especially if you don't want to do it ASAP. And the other thing is, so in islands, there's this thing called rapid charms. Rapid charms, basically, you use the charm. Ideally, the two other people in your group also use it. And then all you do is you walk around the islands and you just collect the nodes, right? You don't have to kill any mobs because it basically makes you not aggro any of the mobs. Now, as with most items in island expeditions, you can only hold five of them like in your inventory, right? But what you can do is you can actually mail items from island expeditions to your alts. So what you do is you basically go into an island, you buy up five of the rabbit charms, you mail it to an alt, buy five, mail to an alt, buy five, mail to an alt. You buy as much as you need because every week the items that come out of the island expeditions are different. So you have to wait for a week where that actually occurs. But I think like two weeks ago or something, it was rabbit charms. So whatever the rotation comes around, whenever the rabbit charms is going to be there next. If you want to stock up, that's how you do it. And then what happens is that just gets sent to your alts, right? And then you make sure that before your days are up, you go to an alt and you just mail it back. You're going to use your mailbox as a storage system for the rabbit charms. Now this does make it, if you're mailing a lot of rabbit charms, it makes your mailbox useless. So 
you might not necessarily need that much, but if you wanted to have more rabbit charms, and if you ever wondered why people were asking for rabbit charm runs in weeks where that item wasn't available, that's how you do it. But yeah, so those three things, right? Make sure you have a map in your table. Make sure you're trying to spend a residuum, you know, within two hours before you're logging off for 8.3. That way you can try to get a, a refund on them. And then of course, if you need help with the island residuum, and of course, if you want rabbit charms to make that island farming a little bit easier, if you don't have just like a tank that can AOE pull the entire island, those are all things that you can do. Can't guarantee that they're all gonna work, but doesn't hurt to try. And if you guys have anything else that you're kind of doing in patch 8.3, let us know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for checking out the video guys. Feel free to subscribe to see more. See ya.